Hi, I'm Quentin, and um, I'm going to show you how to do this effect. It's, it's like the Smallville fast run type effect, like when like you kind of start walking, I started jogging, and then you all of a sudden get all blurry, and then you start running closely. It might be hard to see for you, but if I zoom in... You can see, um, I'm perfectly, like, you can see me, and then I get blurry. So, I'm basically going to teach you how to do that. And watch this in HD, if you can. Okay, so let's start. First, I'm going to take my clip and drag it into the new composition. So, it's just like the, um, clip of you running. And I'm going to duplicate that four times by hitting Control D three times. Name the top one normal, because that's a layer that he's going to be normal speed. Name the next next one fast. And then name the second to last one normal too. That's going to be the layer after he's done traveling fast. And name the bottom one BG for background. First, just um, find the area when there's no one in the um, camera, and right-click on the PG layer, hit time, freeze frame. So now that layer is just a picture. Now um, we're going to line up the normal fast and normal two layers. So take the normal layer and find the area when you want to start the make the actor start running, start going fast. So like right there. Hit Alt, End Bracket, and then click on the Fast Layer and hit Alt, Begin Bracket. Then find the area when um, you don't, you want him to like go back to normal speed, which is like right here. Click on the Fast Layer, hit Alt, End Bracket, and then click on the Normal 2 Layer and hit Alt, Begin Bracket. So now we have like when the top layer, when the normal layer ends, the fast layer starts, and when the fast layer ends, the normal two layer starts. So now we're going to take the fast layer, right click, and go to time, time stretch. And you can see like if the stretch factor is at 100%, which it should be, um, the duration, it'll show a duration, and minus like five seconds. If you change the stretch factor to like 45%, it changes it, the duration to like two seconds. So now it's only like half the time that the clip just was, but now it's quicker. So hit okay. And now you can even see that the clip is shorter. And then you can take the normal layer, normal two layer, I'm sorry, and then drag it right under the fast layer. So now you can see him running and it like matches up pretty much. <coughs> okay. So now you can preview this. You can see he kind of runs faster, but we need to add the blur. And we need to kind of also mask it, because the blur that we're going to add is the directional blur. And look what happens if you do that. So if you click on the fast layer, effect, blur and sharpen, directional blur. If you blur it, then watch what happens the whole screen gets blurry. So we need to add a mask around the actor so that only he gets blurry. So we can just delete the bl directional blur. You probably shouldn't have added that effect, but. Okay, so we're just going to go to like the beginning of the fast layer, go to the pen tool, and just make like a mask around him. It doesn't need to be perfect because like if you want it to be perfect, like if you, Okay, let's just say that um you want 
the um, only the actor to be blurry when he's running, then you can make the mask perfect. But if you kind of might want like the edges around him to be blurry too, you can just do it roughly like this. So n and then click on the fast layer, hit M for the mask, and then keyframe it by clicking on the stopwatch. Now hit like page down, and you can see he gets out of the mask. So go back up to the selection tool, and just bring it over here, like match it up with him. I'm not going to make you watch all of this, so um, this is the end of part one, and at the beginning of part two, I'll show you how to make it blurry. And um, if you, cause I I don't know how to like cut out this part where I'm adding the mask, but to make it still in HD on YouTube. So if you know how to do that, then you can comment below and tell me how. So this is the end of part one, and um, I'll see you in part two.